All right, uh, welcome back to the uh, A-Town crib. I think it's time for a fleet update. And the reason I thought of this is because I've got this one out. This is the flagship 2004 Sea Ray 240 Select. Uh, I had to put the bimini top down so I can back it in the garage because last year I ripped the bimini top off backing it in the garage when I forgot to put it down. Top's down. It's got a 2015 Eagle trailer that I special ordered, and Eagle sent it to me. They built, they built it and sent it to me. They have, they still had the pattern for this hull design. Um, I got the boat in 2013, uh, and it came with an aluminum trailer, which wasn't very good. It was pretty rickety, so I got this Eagle trailer special made. This boat has a 6.2 liter. Uh, 377 I believe cubic inch engine which is about 320 horsepower I think is rated for so this is the one I take out the most but it's only a summertime boat because you can't use it when the engine is winterized here we got the 07 suburban tow vehicle 5.3 liter 310 horsepower and I've upgraded the wheels it's got Cadillac Escalade 22s from a 2017 Cadillac that I got from a dealer. It's got tan cloth seats, but it's the LT model. Almost every LT model has leather seats, but the owner, the original owner of this, I'm the second owner, ordered it special with tan, not tan, gray, light gray cloth seats, which is the whole reason I bought it, because I love the light colored interior. Here's a shot of it. Alright, back to the party garage here. Perhaps you've already seen a video on this one here. It's a 1992 Suzuki Cappuccino. It's a Japanese turbo K car. K car. K E I. A lot of pretty people pronounce it wrong saying key, but it's K. It's a K car, K-E-I. So you've probably already seen some videos on this one if you look at my channel. And I really freaking love driving this thing. It's like a go-kart that's street legal. They're not very expensive. You can get them for less than 10 grand. If you are looking for a sports car that's a two-seater, it's a hard top, it's a convertible, it's a target top, it's a stick shift, it's a turbo, it's a three-cylinder. It's everything. Everything. You get every Japanese car for this price here of under 10 grand. Some of them are 12 grand, but this one was about 9 grand, a little bit less than 9. And it was over 9 by the time I had it shipped from Seattle to Ohio. Moving along here, we've got this gray, silver gray with red stripes. This is called a this is a 1997 Ranger 481. This is a tournament style bass boat. It's not a fishing ski like I usually like. Tournament style bass boat. Uh, sorry for the messy garage here. I'm just working on this because I picked it up last week. This is a beautiful boat. It doesn't need very much to be in A plus condition. It needs a few things, but not much. The first thing it needs to be in A plus condition is the upholstery redone, and I'm going to get that redone uh, sometime in the next two or three weeks. I'm waiting for my upholstery guy. Uh, to finish some other jobs, but he said I could bring it to him, and he's going to make this thing look like new. I don't know how the upholstery got this bad, but it's usually just heat from sitting outside, although I suspect this one was covered. Uh, it's got a couple other things here. I'm going to put the live weld door back on. Um, the batteries are all good. The, 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 the Johnson 150 runs like a dream. Starts uh, on the first or second try. It's super smooth. Took a ride in it last weekend, and it was awesome. The other thing this one has, which is above average, is a extended casting deck here. You can see that this piece here is is a fa it's a factory option, but not everybody got it. It's to make the casting deck bigger. You can actually lift this out. Um, there's storage underneath. This is a fiberglass molded in rod locker 
and it's got another rod locker over there and it's got a single console and it's got a 70 pound Minn Kota trolling motor right there it's got fishing seats it's got I mean this this thing is super nice um, so it's going to get fixed up and it's going to look like a plus condition here pretty soon and I absolutely love the color mostly silver with a little with gray carpet and red stripes it's so smooth and it's got the upgraded trailer that in the late 90s they started putting trailers with the fiberglass guide-ons on here i really like that my boat that's over there that i'm going to show you does not have that it just has the basic ranger trailer this one's got the upgraded fenders look it's even got a logo on it right there look at that oh yeah and then moving right along here this is my personal cruiser it's a 17 foot ranger r77 fishing ski and i the reason i like this over the bigger bass boats is because it fits in this corner of the garage nice and it's got the extra bench seat in the back and the buckets basically the fishing ski suits me a little bit more than the standard bass boat because you can still fish out of it and i don't fish in tournaments and i don't have a lot of equipment so i really don't care that it only has one rod locker instead of two uh, but I have added extra fish finders. I've added extra battery. I've added a stereo with an amp and two 6 by 9s It's got a Johnson 115. Most people prefer V6s or better 150 or better horsepower when they're doing tournament fishing or when they're serious fishermen. But I'm just a weekend fisherman. So this boat meets my needs just fine. It's getting a new oil mixture pump. Um, that's why... The air cleaner is off. A new oil mixture pump bolts onto the front of the motor. I'm going to order one. That's what it needs, and then it'll be back on the water. But I really love this boat. I've had it for three years, and um, yeah, it's super awesome. I can't wait to take it out again. It's been down for a couple months. Thought I had it fixed with a Chinese VRO oil pump, but that just did not work. you got to order the OMC one. Or it's just not going to run right. It doesn't mix the oil and the gas appropriately with the $160 VRO pump. You've got to buy the $450 VRO pump that says OMC on it. So here we got the R77. We got the Ranger 481. Got the Suzuki Cappuccino up there. Got the C Ray 240. And I got a 07 Suburban. So that's, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm not done yet. I got one more. Let's go over here. This, this is a 2004 Mercury 2.5 horsepower two-stroke outboard. And you may have seen a video on this already. I haven't gotten a video of the boat running, but this is a video of just the motor when I was doing maintenance on it a few months ago at the beginning of the lockdown. It's got a new oil, new, no, it's got a new, um, uh, water pump impeller. It's got new gear oil. And my co-worker was nice enough to drop off a $100 John boat for me, which is back here. This is a 10-foot John boat. I do not know who made it. It looks like a Sears John boat, but I don't think it is. Uh, so this is uh, vehicle number six, I think. Yeah. So that my son and I, who's in second grade, we took this out just a couple weeks ago with a two and a half horsepower outboard on it. And I thought it was not going to get on plane, but I'll tell you what, it almost did get on plane. We were going a solid eight or nine or ten miles an hour. I thought it was only going to go five miles an hour, but boy, was it nice. Just has uh, three seats in it, and you can strap the outboard on. And I've got a fish finder, depth finder for the back. I haven't gone fishing out of it yet. I've just used it for pleasure, joy riding, but there you go. So six vehicles in the fleet. I don't intend on adding any more vehicles. The Ranger 481 is for sale. Uh, but this, this is what I play with on the weekends. All right, have a good week.